All right, MI40 Nation, we're back with champion Brandon Crow. We're gonna demonstrate primer style workouts for back. We're gonna pick one exercise, and the cool thing about this type of training is it applies to every exercise you're gonna do, whether it be for back or any body part for that matter. All of these are called the six essentials of exercise, and we're gonna teach you how to use your muscle that we're trying to work, as opposed to most people Get caught, in, get caught up in trying to move weight and, and they're worried about how much load they're moving. We're gonna teach you guys how to, to contract your muscle through its entire contractile range. So Brandon's gonna demonstrate a one-arm dumbbell row, applying the, the principles of the six essentials of exercise, which you guys will find in the MI40 programs. Um, so what I want you to do before we even start, Brandon, drop that weight. I want you to move this, back, this leg back out a little bit. Ah, that's a little too much, right about there. Good, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create equal weight distribution between this leg and this arm, so Brandon's got really nothing on this leg. So we're gonna, I want you to be able to like shove that leg, bend it a little bit. I want you to be able to shove that leg in the ground. So what we're doing here is we're trying to create leverage with this leg so he can shove into the ground. Now we're gonna shift this body weight forward and out. Why do we do that? Because now all the weight that he's gonna lift with that dumbbell has to be supported by this, as opposed to him sitting back here and having all his weight supported by his hips. So we're gonna shift it forward and out. That's body position, that's not even part of this video. Uh, so Brandon's gonna grab that weight in a fully lengthened position. The reason we have this leg forward is because it's gonna prevent any type of rotation. So he's in a fully lengthened position, his lat is lengthened. The first thing we're gonna do is contract the working muscle first. How do we do that? Brandon does what's called depression. So he actually pushes his shoulder down, and you guys, if you had your hand here, you could feel his lower lat contract. He's gonna then retract his shoulder and pull his elbow back while his chest is trying to push that way. He's trying to get his elbow and his shoulder back as far as possible. Then we're gonna let it out with the tension on the lat. Good, engage the working muscle first. Maintain continuous tension and hold, good, all the way to the bottom with a big stretch, we're gonna let it go all the way. Pause, so we know we're not using inertia. Contract here, good. So we're pausing at the top, we're pausing at the bottom. We're using a maximum 60% of our maximum load. Good, awesome, you can even see that stuff contract before he moves, hold. Good, so we're looking for about a three second contraction to know we're working the muscle. So you can actually turn everything else off, put the tension where you want it, contract here, and pull. Notice how Brandon isn't moving his body, nothing else is changing. He's using this leg to drive through the ground. That's enough, Brandon, I don't wanna hurt you. <laughs> Brandon's obviously a really strong guy and he can do those exercises really well, so it's a great demo model. Most people train back and they have no idea what's contracting. Most of it's a lot of this kind of stuff where the elbow's moving. So what we're looking for here is a full extension of the shoulder girdle, so the protraction of the scapula. That's called protraction versus retraction. So we start protracted so we know our lat is lengthened. Retract and we row. There can be a slight rotation of the body, but it's not massive. So the abs are engaged, and there's our movement. So that same thing happens across every exercise for back, whether it be a pull down, a dumbbell row, a barbell row, uh, really anything, the same principles apply. So maximum stretch, retract, pull, hold and engage. One thing we don't wanna do on a lot of back exercises is allow extraneous movement from the torso. So you see, this isn't a great exercise to demonstrate that, but anybody you see doing um, reverse grip pull downs or bent rows, there's a lot of kind of movement at the torso. So if you guys can imagine, if I was doing a row, and all of a sudden I did this, it completely changes the plane of movement. If I'm trying to row from here, I'm trying to maintain a horizontal plane of movement to keep tension on my lat versus this, which now puts everything up here so that the line of force is my arm, so that tension is going through my trap. So I'm leaning back and I'm rowing here, which is what everybody does in the gym and why everybody has poor back development. So I really highly recommend you keep your abs engaged so you keep the tension where, you, where it's supposed to be at the beginning of the exercise. So that's it, Primer style exercises for back, MI40 style, Ben Pikulski, Brandon Crow. See you tomorrow. So we're gonna start off with some calf training today and uh, I wanna really um, drive home the teaching points when it comes to calves. So, uh, there's a few little things. It's all about in the intricate details, right?